Under the cover of night, thieves take what they can, stripping the railways of essential metal cabling, causing disruption and delays, leaving passengers in the dark. Since March, we've experienced about 160 hours of delay caused by metal theft, cable theft, and that equates to tens of thousands of passengers who've had their journeys disrupted and ongoing damage to the economy because people can't get to work, can't get to their jobs, and freight can't travel about the network. In the 12 months to March, along all West Midlands lines and the Chiltern main line between Birmingham and London, trains were delayed for a total of 2,306 minutes due to metal theft. But that figure has now been eclipsed. Between March and August this year, trains were delayed for a total of 10,179 minutes, around seven days in total. Technology is helping the authorities catch and convict those responsible. Sprays like this one mark cables with an individual ID. If they're taken and found having been sold to a scrap metal yard, investigators are able to tell exactly where they've come from. Some sprays even leave marks indefinitely on the perpetrator's clothing, while other tech is in place to stop the criminals in their tracks. So Julian, this is one of your sensors. You call it a Dalek, I can see why. Um, where is this in place and what does it do? Yes, we've got them in, in place across the whole of the, uh, the network for network rail, um, as well as various other sectors. It's a wireless armoured intrusion system. The detectors pick up uh, heat and motion. When somebody's in an area that they shouldn't be, the unit jumps into life, it flashes, it shouts. Um, and in fact, I'll give you a demonstration, let you see it in action. Warning, this is security. Your presence has been detected. Now I imagine in the middle of the night, you're trespassing across the tracks. That's gonna scare you, isn't it? It's hilarious during the day, but at night time when people are up to no good, we see them creeping onto site. This goes off, they literally sprint and can't get off of site quick enough. The rail network is also littered with hidden cameras. They're all disguised in all sorts of different ways. There's actually one around here right now. Now we can't show you what that camera looks like, but we can say that it is triggered by motion sensors that then record footage and send it straight to the police control room. All the technical support we've got increases our chances of catching people. Uh, we're using police dogs more than we've ever used for. We, we're, pre we're, we're prepared to be far more creative than we've ever been before. And it's not just the people that are stealing the cable, it's the people that are taking the stolen metal, the scrap metal dealers. We're coming for them now. We're, we're going to court and getting more warrants. So we're trying to cut the source off. We do try and fix it as fast as we can, but it's a very complex system of cables that we're trying to do here. And, and what's important to remember is, is that the money spent repairing this damage should be being spent on improving passenger journeys and making the railway better for people. Protecting 20,000 miles of track is a big ask, but Network Rail and the police have the latest technology on their side and criminals in their sights. Lewis Warner, ITV News, Birmingham.